Previously we looked at the standard deviation and expected return for single security or single stock. While that's useful in analyzing individual stocks, most people tend to hold stocks together in portfolios. Two, three, four, ten, maybe twenty or thirty different stocks together in a portfolio. Large mutual funds often will hold a hundred or more individual stocks together in a single portfolio. One of the big advantages of holding stocks together in a portfolio is diversification. The idea of diversification is the same as the old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. As you have more stocks in your portfolio, if one does terrible, something really wrong happens, like maybe you invested in AIG or Fannie Mae, one of the companies that lost 90 plus percent of their value in the 2007 to 2009 time period, then you, maybe you also happen to own at the same time a stock like Apple or Google or one of, another company that does relatively well over that time frame. So the idea of diversification is don't put all our eggs in one basket, spread it out a little bit. And we're going to look at that mathematically with a two stock portfolio. Now we focus on the two stock portfolio because the calculations are manageable by hand. In practice, most people hold well more than two stocks, but the problem is standard deviation for a portfolio, the calculations explode as we add more stocks because we have to look at every possible pair. If there are two stocks, there's only one pair that we can compare, but as we get to 20, 30 stocks, there are a incredibly large number of pairs of stocks that we can put together so the formula becomes a real mess. We're going to walk through a two security portfolio. I'm going to do this in two parts. The first part is going to calculate the expected return and go through the problem and the second part will do standard deviation. Here we have our problem. We've got two stocks A and B. We've got $12,000 total that we're going to be investing, $5,000 into stock A, $7,000 into stock B. We have an expected return for stock A of 9%, standard deviation for stock A of 32%. Stock B is a little bit riskier, has a 39% standard deviation. In addition to that little bit higher risk, we get a little bit higher return with a 10.5% expected return. Correlation between stocks A and B is 0.24. Correlation measures how closely the returns for two stocks move together. Correlation will range between negative 1 and positive 1. Here a positive 0.24 means there's a weak tendency for these stocks to move together. More often than not they'll move in the same direction but it's not a reliable relationship. If you think about maybe over a 20 day period probably 12 out of those 20 days they would tend to move in the same direction and maybe 8 of those days they might move in opposite directions. So there's a weak positive correlation between these two stocks. Next we want to get into the calculation of expected return. Expected return for a two stock portfolio is just a weighted average. The W stand for weights, what proportion of our portfolio goes into that stock and then the K bar is the expected return. So what proportion of our portfolio goes into stock A times its expected return? What proportion goes into stock B times its expected return? So when we look at our example, we're investing 5,000 into stock A and 7,000 into stock B for 12,000 total. So the weight for stock A is 5000 of the $12,000 portfolio and the weight for B is 7000 of the $12,000 portfolio. I'm just going to round these to two decimal places. So we have 5000 divided by 12,000 gives us 0.42 as the weight in A. And the weight in B then would be 0.58, but let's just go through the calculations. 
7,000 divided by 12,000 gives us 0.58 for the weight in B. And now we can plug those into our expected return formula. The expected return for the portfolio is the weight in A times the expected return for A. Expected return for stock A is 9%. And the expected return for our weight for stock B is 0.58. The expected return for B is 10.5%. So now we just go through the math. 0.42 times 9 gives us the 3.78 percent. And we have 0.58 times 10.5. is a 6.09 percent. Now we just add those together. 3.78 plus 6.09 gives us an expected return of 9.87 percent. So again, the expected return for a two-stock portfolio is just a weighted average proportion of our investment in stock A times its expected return, proportion of our investment in stock B times its expected return.